All the way back in the Mesozoic era, when I was still a student, I struggled. A lot. For some reason, things took a really long time to just click in my mind. I'd regularly fall behind on my assignments, I'd miss lectures because they were scheduled too early, or spend time online till like 4am in the morning to get that sweet sweet dopamine I was craving from slaying all those dragons. Let me tell you something! 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 Let me tell you something. Now, a bit later on in my life, I've been a lecturer at a top university for the past several years, so I had this really amazing opportunity to just sit down and chat with some of the smartest people in the world. And here's what I learned. Here are three things I'd made sure to do if I were a student all over again. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. If I were to summarize my student experience in just one word, that word would be overwhelming. I literally remember pressures just coming in non-stop from every side. Study hard, be social, do extracurriculars, find side hustles. A lot, a lot, a lot. Honestly, at times, I literally just wanted to burn it all. So, between all this nonsense, you need to find something. You need to find something that is going to ground you back to Earth. And the simplest thing I found that you can do for this is a daily 10 to 15 minute walk. Nothing more than that. Just you and the outside world. At my college in Cambridge, we have this very cute hedgehog pen which I make sure to visit whenever I can, preferably on a daily basis. <laughs> Once back from your walk, it's really surprising how less overwhelming all the bullshit feels. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Got a secret, can you keep it? I know you wanna kiss me. You wanna know a little insider secret? The one worst thing you can do as a student is to study hard. I've seen so many people just burn themselves completely the fuck out by trying to take a note of each and every little thing that appears on a lecture slide, or by trying to memorize everything that appears in their textbooks. Instead, what I've learned at Cambridge is that the best students study essentially by becoming what they hate the most. Professors. The best way to study something and to like commit it to long-term memory is to explain it to someone else. By becoming a teacher, you force that brain of yours to actually understand what you're talking about. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Rather than memorize it, rather than parroting it. <laughs> Another thing I found out in seven years of teaching is that nothing is going to kill your productivity and drive faster than isolation. Literally all credible statistics on the subject point to this. They show how isolation and a failure to make meaningful connections is the number one reason why students drop out of university. And this is something I really noticed as well. In Cambridge, whenever one of my students struggles, whenever they're not doing well in exams or assignments, the main cause is usually this sense of being disconnected from everything and everyone around them. Therefore, as cheesy as it sounds, and I know it sounds cheesy, making sure to maintain a group of close friends with whom you both study and hang out with is one of the best investments you can make both for your mental health, but also for your study productivity. In this way, you're all gonna feed off each other's energy, picking each other up when you're down, making sure that no one falls behind, that everyone is on top of their stuff. 
What the hell we gonna do now? Let's have another look. 